Usti Nad Labam, Czech pronunciation, U Sai Nad Labam, listen, formerly known by its German name Osig, is the seventh most populous city of the Czech Republic. It is the capital of its eponymous region and district. Usti is situated in a mountainous district at the confluence of the Bilina and Elbe rivers. It is a major industrial center and, besides being an active river port, is an important railway junction. Topic. Name The name of Usti nad Labem is formed from the Old Czech Usti, river mouth, and Labe, the river Elbe. It thus literally means, mouth upon the Elbe, in reference to its location at the Bilina's confluence with the Elbe. It is popularly known as Usti for short. The Czech name was Latinized as USK Super Albium and Germanized as Osig or Awig. Before Czechoslovak independence amid the dissolution of Austria-Hungary following the First World War, the town was usually known in English as Osig, but sometimes also referred to as Osinid, Labum, or Austi nad Labum. Topic. History Usti nad Labem was mentioned as a trading center as early as 993. In the second half of the 13th century, King Otakar II of Bohemia invited German settlers into the country and granted them a German form of municipal incorporation, thereby founding the city proper. In 1423, as King of Bohemia, Sigismund pledged the town to Elector Frederick I of Mayen, who occupied it with a Saxon garrison. It was besieged by the Hussites in 1426. A German army of 70,000 was sent to its relief, but the 25,000 besiegers defeated them amid great slaughter on the 16th of June. The next day, they stormed and razed the town. It was left derelict for three years before rebuilding began in 1429. Usti was again burned down in 1583 and was sacked by the Swedes in 1639 amid the Thirty Years' War. It also suffered grievously during the Seven Years' War and was near the 1813 Battle of Kulm between France and the Alliance of Austria, Prussia, and Russia during the Napoleonic Wars. As late as 1830, its population was only 1400. As part of the Kingdom of Bohemia, it was eventually incorporated into Austria and heavily industrialized over the 19th century. After the Compromise of 1867, it headed the Osig district, one of Austrian Bohemia's 94 district commissions, Bezirkshauptmannschaften. In the 1870s, with only 11,000 people, it was a major producer of woolen goods, linen, paper, ships, and chemicals and carried on a large trade in grain, fruit, mineral water, lumber, and coal. By 1900, large-scale immigration had boosted the population to nearly 40,000, mostly German, and added glassworking and stone to its trades. The local river port became the busiest in the entire Austro-Hungarian Empire, surpassing even the seaport in Trieste. The factories of Osig, as it was then known, were an early center of the National Socialism Nazi movement. The German Workers' Party in Austria, Deutsche Arbeiterpartei in Österreich, was founded on 15 November 1903 and later gave rise to the Sudeten German Party and Austrian National Socialism. Their books continued to be printed in Usti even after the formation of Czechoslovakia in 1918. During the 1930 census, Usti nad Labem was home to 43,793 residents, 32,878 considered German, 8,735 Czech or Slovak, 222 Jews, 16 Russians, and 11 Hungarians. Usti was ceded to Nazi Germany with the rest of the Sudetenland in October 1938 under the terms of the Munich Agreement. On New Year's Eve of that year, the Nazis burnt down the local synagogue, a meat factory was later raised in its place. The Jewish community in Usti nad Labem was mostly exterminated over the course of World War II amid the Holocaust. 
In April 1945, the city was severely bombed by the Allies. Under the terms of the Potsdam Conference and the Benes Decrees, the city was restored to Czechoslovakia and most of its German population expelled after Germany's defeat in World War II. In May 1948, the Communist government passed a new constitution declaring a People's Republic. Communism continued until the 1989 fall of the Berlin Wall set off a series of events which are now known as the Velvet Revolution. Today, Ústí nad Labem is a major industrial city of the Czech Republic with substantial chemical, metallurgical, textile, food, and machine tool industries. Topic. Matikny Street Wall The city gained notoriety in the late 1990s when a 150 meters 490 feet long wall was constructed along part of the Matikny Street separating houses on one side from the tenement blocks on the other. Since the latter were homes mainly to Romani, it turned into an international scandal. Mayor Ladislav Harushka promised local homeowners' representatives that the wall would be finished by the end of September, 1998. Foreign journalists traveled to Usti to investigate, and were told by councillors that the wall was not meant to segregate by race, but to keep respectable citizens safe from noise and rubbish coming from the opposite side of the street. In September, city representatives announced that plans would be changed from a 4 meter soundproof wall to a 1.8 meters wall of ceramic bricks, and a children's playground would also be constructed in front of the tenement blocks. Despite these changes, the Roma Civic Initiative and Deputy Prime Minister Vladimir Spidola vocally opposed the construction. The wall was criticized by U.S. Congressman Christopher Smith, and a delegation from the Council of Europe described it as a racist and drastic solution. The new plan slated construction to begin August 30, 1999, but a decision by the district office delayed the move because a wall that large would require a permit, and threatened to damage the root systems of trees along Matikny Street. On October 5, however, construction began regardless of the opposition by foreign observers and members of the Czech government. The following day, 50 Roma physically blockaded construction of the wall and dismantled parts that had already been set up. Nonetheless, the wall was completed on October 13. Domestic and international pressure eventually convinced the city to dismantle the wall, and it was demolished six weeks after it had been erected. The local zoo uses parts of this ceramic fence as a wall around its main entrance to this today. The original wall was only 1.8 meters high and a few more rows of ceramic parts were needed to make it higher. Matikny Street is now uninhabited and its buildings are scheduled for demolition. Topic. Tourism The Strekov Castle is located in a southern suburb of the city. Usti is a center for tourism owing to the romantic landscape of the Bohemian Highlands Seske Stredohori, and the Seske Svikersko National Park. Topic. Famous natives and residents One of the most famous Bohemian artists, the painter Anton Raphael Mengs (1728–1779), was born in Ústí nad Labem. Among the city's other natives are the illustrator and designer Heinz Edelman (1934–2009), the writer Vladimir Parel (born 1932), and physicist Felix Weinberg (1928–2012). Modern sports figures born in the city include Milan Hayduk, born 1976, hockey player and former team captain for the Colorado Avalanche, Michal Neuvert, born 1988, hockey player for the Philadelphia Flyers, and Yuri Jurasik, born 1977, association football player, formerly of Chelsea FC and Celtic FC player, currently of Deportivo Alaves. Goalkeeper Tomas Cerny was born in the city in 1985. The composer, conductor and pianist Victor Ullman (1898–1944) served for a brief time (1928–1929) as head of the city's opera company. 
The renowned mathematician Petr Vopenka spent most of his teaching career at the city's Jan Evangelista Perkine University. Topic. International relations Usti is twinned with Halton, United Kingdom Chemnitz, Germany Vladimir, Russia Topic. Transport Topic. Road transport The city is connected to the International Highway E-442 Liberic, Dessen, Usti, Dresden and First Class Highways I-8, I-30, I-13. It is also directly connected to the Express Highway D-8 Berlin, Prague that intersects the western border of the city. Topic. City mass transport The city has a network of mass transport that includes bus and trolley bus lines. Topic. Railway transport USTI Nad Labum is an important railway node with four railway stations. The largest of these is Usti nad Labum Halavni Nadrazi which is served by international Eurocity and intercity trains. The backbone international line is the National Railway Line No. 090 an international corridor traversing the Czech Republic from the border north of Dessen, through Usti nad Labum and Prague, to the southeastern border at Bretzlov. This line is part of the IV. Trans-European Multimodal Corridor. Topic. River transport The Elbe River Line is a junction with the West European River Lines opening access to Germany, Benelux countries, northern France and to important seaports. The Elbe River Line is a part of the IV. Trans-European Multimodal Corridor. Freight transportation and pleasure cruises are run on the water line section Pardubis, Schwelteis, USTI Nad Labum, Rinsko, Hamburg. Topic. Air transport An airport for small sports planes ICAO code LKUL is located northwest of the city. The nearest airport for airliners is in Prague, 92 kilometers, or Dresden, Germany, 75 kilometers. Topic: Mariansky Bridge. Mariansky Bridge is a road bridge over the Elbe which was built over a period of 5 years and opened in 1998. The city invested over 750 million Czech Koronis, 37,500,000 United States dollars, to build it. The bridge won an award of the European Association of Steel Structures, ECCS, European Convention for Constructional Steelwork, European Steel Design Awards. International Association for Bridges and Civil Engineering ranked Mariansky Bridge between the 10 best structures of the world for the last decade. Topic. See also Berna nad Labum